My veins are popping out my face. I look messed up. Welcome back to another episode of the Stevie Weeby Show. We have a very special guest tonight. Please welcome for the first time on the podcast, comedian Annie Letterman. Thank you. I like that one clap. Um, thanks for coming. Thanks for having me into your home. It's very cozy. I like it. You do you really like it? I really what do. What stands out? The stickers? Like I what? like the stickers. I like the smell. You're burning some, what yeah. do you call it again? Palo uh, Santo. Palo Santo. Palo Santo. Yeah. I burn that too, but I don't know what it's called. I always yeah. call it... San Pedro, but that's like mescaline, I think. <laughs> it's, yeah. It's giving me different um, And then you, you mentioned this the skateboard. I like, well, I could tell you were a skateboarder just by the stickers. Uh-huh. I like that there's a hammer next, to, that's for protection, there's a hammer next to the door. <laughs> Is that for protection? You have to bring that up. Okay. Yeah, no, that's okay. good. You want, so people you like should know. The hammer? Know. The you, hammer? What if people found out like where you lived? You, they should know that they're going to well, get fucked up. Well, first off, we do have a camera outside. I have a knife. I do have two knives in here. Are you, do you have fear of being, have you ever been broken into your home? Well, lately because of the, I don't know if it's because of the pandemic, but we have caught like sketchy, like activity back here. Like one time this dude like came back here um, and he had a sharp object. He looked like, like a meth head. Yeah. Another time. Uh, dude, this is the pandemic of meth. Like this is like the yeah, most yeah. methy they shit I've ever yeah, seen yeah, in my life. Yeah, they come out. The freaks come out. Um, But uh, yeah, so you asked, uh, but I'm not. Whatever, man. If they come in, they come. Did you in. chase them off? No, I d- thank God I didn't open the door. Like I had a dog in here at the right. time, and he was the dog was barking. Where did the dog go? Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a long that's a longer story. It's a uh, breakup. It's a lie. Break up. Okay. My girl ended up taking the dog. Yeah, that fucking bitch. The dog. No, 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 no. no. She's a good person. No, but her. anyway, so Kirby was barking. Right. But something told me like, don't open the door. Don't open the door. But then when I did open the door, dude. This fucking guy. He came and cleaned your house. No, no, but he had like certain meth behaviors. Like you, it's like unorthodox. Like he like placed stuff on those stairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A whole like there's always a plan. Garage sale set up. Like I had shoes on the side, and he was he had all these. (laughs) He was gonna try to sell you. I don't know, but he had a (laughs) but he had his own arrangement of stuff. You want these back? Yeah. So you you mentioned before you came over here, you're you're doing some uh, yoga. I did a me- I did a meditation. I texted you. I said, "Is it cool if I'm late? It's cool if I don't if I have to be on time, but if I can be late, I would prefer to do. I have th- I wanted to do this. It's not a meditation. It's a it's a what do you call it? Yoga? It's like a hypnosis. It's, it's a like hypnosis. a hypnosis. And is it on it's, the YouTube or like? How no, 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 no. It's it's through this guy whose podcast I listen to named Jim Fortin. But oh, shout out to Jim Fortin. I love Jim Fortin. Okay. Dude. He's the man. Yeah, he's the man. But it's a it's like a money manifestation, like abundance, uh, hypnosis. It's cool. And then, because uh, do you ever like do you ever do like manifestation where you imagine yourself with nice things? Yeah. I ever since the secret, I know yeah. it's, I know I'm, it might be bullshit, but it is good to think positively yeah. about shit. Is that, is that what you talk? I'm That's what I'm talking about. But when I try to do it, I realize I can't, um, imagine having nice things. Like I literally, I'll be in my like meditation, right? It's my wildest dreams. And it'll be like a scene from fucking, uh, Inception, you know, where things like start getting destroyed yeah, yeah, that's, that's and I'll give myself song. like a nice house for like 10 seconds and then it'll like go up in flame. I'm like, even in my fucking dreams, I can't have nice things. <laughs> so then I realized I'm like, I think I need to hypnotize, like I need to hypnotize myself because that's something deep. Right? right, right. So then I found this hypnosis and it's pretty dope. 
It's pretty dope. So how long you been doing it? Uh, like two weeks. But I listen to it like when I go to bed, when I wake up, and it's it just I fall asleep every time. Like I actually don't even really know what it so says. So it's like ASMR. It's like calming. Maybe, too. yeah. And then I like I fall asleep, and then I wake up, and it. But I will. I'll be like I feel so light and happy. So yeah, I can't hurt. So let's get some backstory. Uh, you are uh, doing a podcast with my brother's girlfriend, Kalila, yeah. and uh, shout out to Esther Pavitsky. Yes, and our little munchkin. Yeah, our um, baby and boy. so I mean that's that's a big that's a huge thing you're doing. It's so fu- yeah. It's How'd really you come? Fun. Who came up with the idea? Okay, so we okay, so Esther and I have been friends since like t- since I moved here in 2012, and we wanted to do a podcast back then, and it just never happened like we started we get in fights we'd stop talking for three years are you like, guys do you have like oh, how's your relationship like sisters yeah <laughs> brothers like brothers <laughs> yeah like brothers okay but yeah no we um no we love each other but we, you know we like always fighting fight yeah. but so that is where the name bloodbath came from but so we always wanted to do a podcast together and then we started we and it never happened things fell apart we were we broke up friend broke up for three years came back strong kind of like we're Friends that didn't like hang out that much. Then the pandemic hit and it was like FaceTime all day, talking all the time. Yeah. And then we were just like, let's start. So we would start doing each other's podcasts. We would do things on each other's Patreons. And then. Oh, you got a Patreon? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's what's up. Okay. Patreon.com slash Annie Letterman. <laughs> hit it so up. Be- up. Become a patron today. Today. Yeah. Support the your girl. You got your tiers all set up? I do. I have. Yeah, I have my. Five dollar tier. That's early access to the podcast yeah. and extra Q and A. Okay. And then twenty dollar tier. You, I do like a Zoom once or twice a month where I hang out with everyone. Hell yeah! Which, hell yeah! A lot of access. Maybe too much access. That's what's say, up. But yeah, for no. Twenty dollars is really weird. You got to do it. You got to do it, especially I mean, nowadays. I have to raise the price. But the thing is, if you raise the price of the hang, that's fucking weird. Like if people right. are like, do you know what, what I you mean? What do you mean like for like fifty dollar tier? No, but like, what if it was like I was like, all right, if you want to hang out with me on the Zoom, you got to pay a thousand. Like if I was like, I'm gonna raise my worth, like you got to pay a thousand dollars. Like, ew, that's weird. If someone's yeah. paying a thousand, that's like too much. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe you're like, ooh, you like me too much. I do don't do you push your Patreon? A l- I mean, I haven't been, but you know what? That's I I gotta like rework it. I gotta figure out what I'm doing with it. I stopped doing my podcast for a while just because, um, I got. Uh, I get cluster headaches every two years for just a month. What's and a cluster headache? They're just these headaches that I don't even want to talk about them anymore because I keep mentioning them. But <laughs> I will talk about them because I mention them. But I yeah. know motherfuckers that read the comments. So everyone's like, bring up your cluster headaches again. All right, yeah, yeah. get them and tell me that you're not bringing them up. So, also, so people always are like, stop directing, stop looking at the camera. And I'm like, but, you're but how often do you? How would you describe a cluster headache opposed okay, to a normal headache? Cluster headache is debilitating side of your head. They're called suicide headaches. People kill themselves all the time with them. They're Jeez, the I, sharpest, worst pain that you could possibly have that just comes on immediately out of nowhere. Like all down my face, oh down my, my back. How often do you get these? Every two years, I get them like three times a day for a month. What the fuck? And you're dying like, do you go to the same doctor as Bobby? No. Oh, I do. <laughs> okay. Lila just yeah. set me up. Oh, like, oh, oh, okay, okay. Kalila's my, um, she's my scribe. She's my, oh yeah. Unfortunately, my therapist. I feel bad for my friends. I just like, I'm such an unloader. No, 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 no. You're good. I mean, I've never heard of that term cluster headache. So it's just fascinating. Yeah. So, so it just, it's like a stroke. It hits one it's, side yes, of your, he- fit yes. your body or it's something. It's like a, yeah, it's really bad. But what's the solution? How do you get rid of them? You really can't. So there's no, like ibuprofen? some people say mushrooms. Well, you got to do mushrooms. Help. Yeah. But I, they were, that worked for me the last two years ago but then this year i took meds first because i finally had health insurance you got fleas no no <laughs> that was not a regular itch that was like a back no, that, was Michael that should have been a hind <laughs> a hind foot was doing that itch that was that was, a that was itch. i'm oh sorry my God. that was just a tick do you i'm like listen i'm friends what with did, esther what, what, what i wouldn't it, be worded what, out but if you what did fleas. it look like to you from you your like, vantage point like when a dog uses their back foot, it was that. <laughs> it looked ridiculous. Yes, okay. it looked like I pet you. No, I'm, so, you. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll no, don't apologize. Okay. Be oh, wait, hold up. I'll I'm just, in your home. Okay. Um, wait, is that a weed leaf lamp? No, that's it's. It looks. That's a weed leaf lamp, bro. It is. That's that's and I know you you're know sober, what, right? Dude, I've, yeah, I'm sober, and it's the first time someone's actually that's a observed that lamp. lamp. Hold on one second, guys. Easy there, Annie. I dropped it. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. 
Okay, this is the first time in the history of Stevie Weeby that Stevie Weeby show. We're, we're digging into this. Uh, there, she's digging into the lamp. That's weed. Can you guys Are see you there's sure? no light Wait, in it? Wait, hold up. There's no light in it, so they can't say when the light hits, this is only one layer. So that's see through, and then this is dark. These are weed leaves. Dude, how the one, two, wait, hold on. Dude, how observant is Annie? One, wait. You are observant as hell. Yep, six, seven. That's seven leaves. That's seven. Yep. Right? Isn't it seven leaves on a. You're the first person. A lot of other people have been in here. You're the first person that's ever brought that up. Are you struggling with your sobriety? It's because your fucking Maybe lamp is reminding you to fucking smoke weed all the time. Were you a pothead? Yes, because it was that I rode blunts all day. Well, you're a skater. I do love skaters. <laughs> yeah, I do yeah, love yeah. skaters. Hold on. Uh, you're the first. You don't have to put it back. You don't have to put it back. No, no, no. You're good. No, we we got we have more of the interview to do. But you're the first person that's brought that up. And now I'm tripping out. Now I, I can never look at the lamp. It's a lamp fucking weed lamp. And guys, I, I'm telling you again, it's oh, the single Lord. layer is light. And you, I'm, yeah, that's a weed lamp. How come no one else has said that? I bet you there's fucking drugs all over this place you don't even realize. Especially with all these things. There's probably mushrooms and all this. All of this is psychedelic. I knew you were going to say psychedelic just now. She's going to, in my mind, I'm like, she's going to say psychedelic. Well, she's going to say psychedelic. You look at this every day. So, um, so you've, I take it that you've kind of dabbled into, LSD and, and shroom, shrooms. Yes, I've right? done all those. But I went to, I did do, I was a, I'm frenemies with Bill. That's what I said. With who? With Bill W. Oh. That's just for the insiders. If you yeah, get it, you okay, get it. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. But gotcha. I, um, yeah, I was, I was like completely sober, but I mean, I consider my, I'm drinking sober. Yeah, like what do you drink? Beer? Never. Wine? No, 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 I don't drink. No, alcohol. Oh, okay. So you just. I quit drinking in 2009. But do you smoke weed? No. Well, sometimes. Yeah, but but shrooms. I, I'm, I'm interested. But weed in is more of a problem. Weed and alcohol to me are Especially alcohol. Especially now, never, it's so powerful. It's so strong. Like yeah, but weed. it's also just like not a helpful tool for me in any way. Yeah. If I'm smoking weed, it's like to keep myself from succeeding. Yeah. I've. It's never enhanced any moment of my life ever. Are you a comedy store comic? Like, is that is that your? Yeah, I guess so. So I mean, I. So you're a regular with S, like you guys. Yeah, I'm a regular at the store. Yeah, but I I started comedy in New York and then I moved out here in 2012 or 2013. All right, let's talk about the where in New York. I I lived in well when I first moved there I lived in, where's my first spot? I was in Bed Stuy. Okay. Which was fun because I came from Santa Fe, New Mexico, where it was like. Well, there's a comedy scene out there. No, I hadn't uh, started comedy yet. I okay, was just so okay, so New I was a York, bartender. Be- Bed Stuy. Open yeah. mics? Bed Stuy started open mics, yeah, when I was in Bed Stuy. Then I moved to Greenpoint. Then I lived in Bushwick mm-hmm. and Williamsburg. Okay, and then wh- what made you decide to move to LA? Uh, I started doing Chelsea lately. That's why I met your brother and got in a fight with him I didn't know we were in. <laughs> He was like, when we were enemies for two years, I'm like, oh, you were always my friend, but thank you, cool. So what what was that like? I mean, that was a huge show, Chelsea. Well, it was cool. Chelsea Speaking Handler, of right? manifesting, Go I ahead. okay, when you I was living that? wait, listen, when I was living in Bushwick, or no, in Bed Stuy, when I first moved to Santa Fe from so I was living in New Mexico, I was a fucking drunk, chubby bartender. I was I was drinking Jaeger and Jizz left and right, okay? Mm-hmm. I was going nuts. I was wild back then. What was that? It's a uh, God. You is are it a so, dip thing? You are so damn thing? observant. Is it a dip thing? <laughs> it, I, okay. Give me it. I just want what, to try no. whatever it Okay, is. so this is what I'm trying to quit. Okay, and that's the fake one? And this is the substitute for Give me this. The substitute. I want the substitute. It's actually pretty delicious. And, and you just it put tastes. it in your side? Are you going to try one? Of course. Get the f- <laughs> Dude, two historical events. She dissected my what lamp. Put it in between your cheeks. Down there? Okay. Oh. I can't believe you're doing... It's four milligrams of uh. It's gonna be weird, but yeah, it's gonna it's gonna. Can you, I put it over here? So you go you go put it on your upper. I'll put it on our side. Make sure it's on your gums. Yeah, it's on my gums. So what's a describe what you, the experience? Uh, describe the flavor. It's citrusy. It tastes really good, actually. Like candy. But also like a, like a cleaner, <laughs> but like not bad. But you know what I mean. You are out like of if you control. had pine soul, but the orange pine soul, <laughs> yeah, and you drank it, and it. I like that. Keep going. Keep going. You. It didn't kill you, but it wasn't good for you either. <laughs> she said orange. Like your pine parents, salt. if your parents came in and saw you drinking it, they'd be like, "Please stop doing this." Yeah. 
So I take it if I didn't have this, let's say you came in here and I just had this, you would you would try. Yes, I would. You would try this. But I went for. I'm trying to be a better God. person to myself. That's amazing. Because this would be bad boy. I mean, bad girl. Ooh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You heard it here first, guys. So let's go back to your manifestation. Annie's turning into Andy. Um. So you before Chelsea happened, you okay. manifested that. I moved to. I was living in Santa Fe. I was a crazy drunk uh, bartender. I was driving my scooter and I crashed my scooter. I was like. Bleeding from the face, almost lost a nipple. Like crazy shit was going down. I had stitches in my face all the time. Like I was insane. And then I thought I was like, you know, I kind of want to be a comedian. I was just out of nowhere. I just had been thinking about. It. I was always funny in school and stuff, mm -hmm, you know. Mm -hmm. And my dad was is really funny, and I was always making him laugh. So I was like, I think I want to be a comedian. And then Adam Sandler came into town and did The Longest Yard. It was starting to get spicy. <laughs> the thing with nicotine, if you guys don't know, however you ingest it, it starts to get spicy. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, it is. Without you have to just sugar. keep rotating it, yeah, like to a different part. Yeah, there you go. I don't have the. Yeah, you don't have. The I was never able to tie yet. the cherry. Yeah. I wish it was a two because with with a nic nicorette always take break it in half. Oh it's a yeah, four. yeah. Because four is a lot, but it's all right. We're just okay, gonna, that's I'm fine. gonna have a hiccup soon. Are you getting a buzz off it? Like, are you feeling the nicotine? A little bit. Yeah, oh, yeah there you it's go. Getting good. Yeah. <laughs> Fine. You're the first guest. I have uh, almost 200 episodes, over 200 episodes. You're the very first guest that's even looked at this area and picked this thing up and and actually indulged it in it. It could be codependency. I mean, I, I have a twin brother, so it could just be me trying to. Oh, I do just try what everyone else tries. Is he older? Uh, yeah, he is. By six oh, minutes, so though. so that's maybe what it six is. Six minutes at midnight, so, so he has he, a different he, birthday. He's like, hey, let me get that beer. Oh, let me try that. Yeah. Well, no, well, I think I was more like that with him. Well, I don't know. I just like to try things. Yeah. I'm just curious. But, um, so... Manifestation. I'm like, I think I want to do stand-up. And then this Adam Sandler movie comes into town, and I'm like, I'm meeting all these comedians. Like, I guess I could do it. If I can see them, I could probably do it. Yeah. Which is actually so annoying when people approach you that way and they're like, I could do it. Do you ever do stand-up? I did open mics for uh, about a year. Did Bobby think. make you? No, I did, made did it on my own. I, I know, but... There's but, nothing meaner and crazier to do. But I so actually funny. opened... I did a bigger show at Tempe Improv. I was the opener and they kicked me off the other shows because I bombed that bad. Oh, I, I did a cowboy happen. rap. I had a bloody nose in the... Fake lock. bloody nose? No, it was a real... I had blood coming out of my nose before... Uh, the, the MC, out of nerves? Yeah, out of nervousness and dehydration. Just popped a... And uh, the MC had to save me. He was like, okay, anyway, that's his time. But, you know? And they thought there was like... And so I walked back to the green room, and I thought, you know, I was justifying. Uh, I didn't do that bad. Yeah. But I had to walk by the crowd. I you know, quit. the Tempe Improv, I'm you have to walk... Out. That's fine. That, did that, it, that's though. good. You did it. Well, I might go back to it. Um, I'm so, gonna let this sink in. So I, w I, I was looking at their uh, reaction to me. I had to walk by them to go to the green room, mm -hmm. and they didn't even look at me. The, the owners? No, the no, crowd. no. The audience. They were like, I was like a okay. dead person. They How were about just this? Like, How about this? How about being a professional comedian for years, going on a heavy metal cruise, bombing on the cruise, <laughs> and then having to go to the fucking, you know, the buffet every day, and everyone was like, you were. Good. Like they oh, felt bad they, for yeah, me. They yeah, were like worried yeah. I was gonna jump. I'm like, I'm not gonna jump. But did, off the did you boat. bomb bomb? It was bad. I was scared of the audience. Those long ponytails. They scared me. The heavy metal. I was like nervous. I don't know. I got well. Anyway, so out. my brother had to, he had a lie, and I was in the green room justifying. I, I didn't do that bad. I didn't do that bad. And then, the the what happened was the manager pulled him aside and said, uh, "Your brother said." Uh. Yeah. But my brother's like, "Hey, bro. You know what? You could actually go home." <laughs> he tried to make it yeah, seem like yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he goes, thing. you you could go home, dude. You're yeah, good. Yeah, I yeah. go, what do you what do you mean? There's two more shows. Oh no, no, man. It's, it's funny that you time, wanted to go it's back a time out. Time constraint. It's a you'd think you would have been like you did have the delusion. No, I would have bombed again. No, but the fact that you would even even knowing that you would bomb again to go out again, you know, you think you would have been like, bro, no, can I go no, home? I was I I was justifying. I didn't. You thought it was the nose. I was. Yeah. Well, not only that, I was justifying like. My material is too advanced for them right now. Oh yeah, that's a good one. I'm too smart. Sometimes it's true though. Maybe on the heavy metal cruise they just were too dumb to know. So I went to Del Taco. <coughs> I drove back. Went to Del Taco. Shout out to Tempe. Oh no, Del Taco. Uh, here. Tempe, Arizona. Okay, Tempe. Um, Tempe Improv. Improv. I thought it was the in the Gilbert Del Taco. Okay, Gilbert Del Taco. Uh, What's and up? then my brother, I didn't know this, had texted my mom, and me and my mom got in a fight. 
uh, why? Because she was judging she was him? She was like, what? Steve, that's not funny. Why you do? Oh, what did you she do? came at you. Like, what did you do? You go, not funny. And I'm like, you don't know comedy, mom. Well, why are you guys, do you guys have anything to drink? Yeah, do you want a Red <laughs> Bull or a sparkling water? I want a sparkling water. I'm trying to cut the Red Bull. Thank That's you. Ooh. I want to get your reaction. That's uh, Lyman. Try that and tell me your honest uh, opinion. Ooh, gross. <laughs> Nasty, of terrible taste. It's growing on me. Hold on. It's like a dessert. Everything you have tastes like something else that it isn't. <laughs> and also, wait, can we hold on? Keep going. Keep. I love your description. Okay, so does it does here. it remind you of candy or like? Did star- you make that guy? No. What do you talk? Which one? What are you talking about? The Elvis about? Man box. Elvis Man. No, that's uh, a fan uh, when I uh, was with the band uh, 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 during oh, the show. Oh, you're a musician they, too, right? Because yeah, you did they, this. Yeah. And you guys are both very musical. You and Bobby. Is it just the two of you? Yeah. <laughs> no sister. <laughs> oh my God, you just switched from. You don't have a sister, ADD. No, 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 no. That's my only brother. But you do have a sister. No, I don't. That's such a weird way to say that you don't have um, a sister. He, I don't have a sister. Bob that's my, my only brother. That's my only sibling. <laughs> yeah. Um, and no, I didn't make that. And what was your other question? Is it just me and Bob? Yeah, but we already got through that. Okay, so okay. now you're okay. So now you're coming home from you're eating Del Taco. Your mom's being a bitch. And then I get in a fight with her. And then later I'm in uh, the upstairs bedroom writing, and my brother and I got in another fight. Were you writing jokes? I was trying to. Good for you. And no, no, but he goes, he goes, Steve, I just want to help you out, man. I just, I think I could give you some shortcuts. And I go, I, t- I, I was laying on my belly and I go, I know my own material, man. Like I was being very defensive. Like you, they, I'm, my, my comedy is, is just too adva- like yeah. advanced. You wouldn't they, even they get, it, get it, Bobby. They don't just, they don't get it. They don't get my, my whole and did thing. He... And then he was just, he was being like Bobby, a concerned you know, because he knows comedy. Yeah. You know what I mean? He was I just like when Bobby gives you a talking to, though. It's good. Not you specifically, but one. Has he done that to you? Sure. I like, can't remember how does what. He, how, but like, what's his approach like? Like, you stupid bit. Like, he'll just, like, come in your face really fat. Not come in your face, but, like, yeah. you know, come at you <laughs> yeah. really, like, like funny but harsh. Yeah. So uh, that was my last time you asked, and that was my last time I. Because they made you quit? No, I just, I just said this. The family got together. No, they no, had an intervention. No. They're like, start smoking weed again and stop no, doing comedy. No, I just said, uh, maybe this, cause, cause what I realized, this is what I realized. That bit was a, it was for music. Yeah. Because I used the same bit during Monchi yeah, shows, yeah. and it was, you know, in the middle of our set, yeah. I would do that cowboy thing, and it was meant for right. music. It wasn't meant for comedy. Do you feel like when, like you doing stand up, is when Bobby does music? What, what, like, what do you, you feel like that? you're like the musician and when Bobby does music, you're like, Bobby, like, stay in your lane. No, because my brother, uh, I don't know if you know this. He was a he's a hell of a musician. He really is. He made our theme song for. I Blood know. Bath. It's and not so all, good. And not all, oh, he made it. He made that. It's yeah. So fucking and good. so he's he used to be in a hippie band, too, in, in high school. Uh, called uh, Lax uh, Laxton Superb. It's was he like a ha- hacky he was, sacker? No, he was the. He had long hair. Did he have dreads ever? No, he had like you know like the guy from Smashing Pumpkins. Yes, he looked like that guy. Yeah, and he would do like groovy, oh, like wow. groovy. Um, like he would play. Was he getting girls in high school? No, really. He and now he's Kalila. <laughs> You're like the hottest bitch, but Kalila don't know. She don't know what she is. My brother only started getting women. Uh, when he got af- famous after a comic like mad ap- tv yeah tv will do it i don't know what that girls are he, just like. uh he never uh i don't even remember even in high school i remember he he had a girl from his rehab in his room and i was gonna die of shock yeah like i saw her coming, well he was uh, he was 13 stepping her I don't know if that's the case. I think there it was well, still friend zone. No, I think it was still oh, friend zone yeah. shit. But I remember seeing her come out of his room, and I was shocked. I was yeah. Like, oh God, there's a girl coming out of his yeah. room. Yeah. Did you try to like talk to her? No. 
No. You let him have her. Yeah, that's. But thing. you were getting girls from music. No, I didn't. I was even worse. <laughs> really? Because I was in Christian camps. Oh yeah, yeah that's not gonna. And help. so instead of asking him on dates, I'd invite him to church. You got to go to the Jew camps. Now that's where they <laughs> fuck. They get the, down. Oh, they Jew do. Camp. Well, I don't know. I went to a Quaker camp, but there was a Jew camp over and yonder. That's how you get the girls. And you could hear the howls. Yeah. So I was um, brainwashed with the religion thing, yeah. and hey, did Jesus will save you. You want to come to the church? Uh, yeah, you're like, do you want to get Crusade married? You're like, Christ? I don't want to go on a date. Do you want to get married? Yeah, and my brother was more of a, you know, believe it or not, he was kind of like an outcast. I believe it. And then, uh, and then he decided to do comedy at the La Jolla. You know, you know yes. the story. He met Polly, and then yeah. you know the story. I don't, but we don't need to yeah. spend our time talking about Bobby. Oh. How often does that happen? <laughs> A lot. Yes. Um, let's go back on your trajectory. Okay, yes. so back I'm to in, back to Chelsea. Fe. You're in Santa Fe. I'm in Fe. Santa Fe. I meet me. I meet Adam Sandler. I go. I guess I could do this. Not like, not in like a. But I just kind of went. Oh, I think I really this thing I wanted to do is like a tangible thing now. So then I go, I, I, I'm I getting in all this trouble drinking and driving, crashing my scooter, and I'm DUIs? like... DUIs? Never DUIs. I made friends with the cops. Really? They never, they would always just follow me home and so okay. arresting oh, me. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. White girl privilege. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to acknowledge it. Yeah. Um, but it was a small town. And so I, because of that, I because I had a drinking and driving problem, which is what I thought first, I was like, I can't move to LA because I'll die. <laughs> <laughs> so... I'll move to New York where I can be an alcoholic and ride the train. Yeah. But then I got to New York and I realized that I was going to like stumble into like no one was getting as drunk as me. I was like, I'm going to fall in front of the train or something. I'd be like that bitch that stops the train. Everyone yeah. fucking hates that person. Like oh. everyone rides a train in New York. though. Yeah. Right? But yeah. everyone hates the bitch that falls in front and dies on the train. And then all the trains yeah, get stopped. Fun. Everyone's like, yeah. nobody feels bad for you. They're like this yeah. stupid piece of shit. Now we're all fucking late. You're trapped in the subway. It's like the, a nightmare. It's hot. And so you're you're just doing your thing there, and then you just... And then, okay, so I go to New York. I'm still drinking. I'm staying on my friend's couch, and I, I go to this therapist, my dad's friend, who's a therapist, which is so weird to go to your dad's friend as a therapist. Because yeah, if you're like, want to yeah. talk about your dad issues, they're yeah, like, who, Scott? They're, and I'm yeah, like, exactly. yes, Scott. Yeah. But so I go to him, but he was amazing, and he gave me this. It was 2008, so... D, uh, CDs were still things. So he gave me oh, this yeah. like CD book of this guy named Brian Tracy, and it was called Goals. And so <laughs> I read this whole fucking goals, or I listened to this whole goals book, okay? And you write your goals down in a positive present tense. So, and he's like, don't like hold back, don't give yourself limiting uh, limits. Yes, limiting beliefs. Yeah. So just like your big, like your heart's desire. So I was like so embarrassed writing these things. I was like, you know, I have. You know, it'd be like, I weigh, and then it'd be like, I have, um, you know, uh, an apartment for myself, or I have, you know, I was just asking for these things that I thought Those were big. Those are your goals. And then I go, I am a comedian, and then I said, I am a comedian on Chelsea Lately, and I was so embarrassed. Like, if someone had found that notebook, I would have been humiliated. Yeah. I couldn't believe, like, to even ask to be on Chelsea Lately, and then, like, I started doing comedy, and I pretty much like I went to Montreal like two years in, oh, and then I Montreal just for laughs. Yeah, I did just for laughs, and then I get bombed. Another bombing situation. You bombed oh. at Montreal in Montreal. Oh, I just shit. Just for the viewers, uh, viewers and listeners, what that entails. Okay, so first what of is all, just for laughs? That's just a for huge laughs thing. is they have this thing, and just for laughs is a comedy festival in Montreal. It's once a year in the summer. And they have... Um, Up and comers. Yeah, it's called the New Faces of Comedy. New Faces. So it's like you're coming out. It's like like to the industry. Like these are the people the, to watch. Yeah. Like these people are going to be stars. So everybody wants it. So everyone in open mic scene, everyone in the New York comedy scene, in the LA, every comedy scene that exists, they're they're just like, oh my God, my Montreal. I got a Montreal audition. I got to like, everything's about That's getting Montreal. Deal. Freaking out. Pressure, pressure. So I, the first year I was in comedy, someone recommended me and I... I auditioned and I didn't do bad, but I was very new. Mm -hmm. And so I talked to the booker and he was like, you're new. We really like you. Like do these things. I can't remember what he told me to do, but he's like, work more on this and that. So then I just, you know, I was just performing like five times a night. I was just really like you're working at your craft. Cause I was you're doing, doing yeah. I had quit drinking and I was, had done my goal. So now I knew I was like, this is what I want. So I took all my drinking obsession. And I threw it into open mics. Then I go, I go the next year I come back. I do my audition for Montreal and they're like, you listened to everything we said. Like, you did all the things. And asked. yeah, and yeah. I got invited. But they called me and they went, 
they were like, we have we have some news for you. Like, sometimes it's just not people's time to go to Montreal. And I was like, oh, OK. And they're like, but it's not that's not true for you. You know, they did like the fake oh, out. They, like, oh, you switch. fucking assholes. Yeah, bait and switch. Yeah. And so um, so then I do end up going and I did the unrepped version. So it wasn't they had like another version that was almost like the the you know, no, you didn't have any managers or agents or anything. So I did that and you have to pay your own way. <laughs> <laughs> um rude i'm a fucking open yeah. maker i don't have a manager i don't have yeah. any money but how so, the hell did you book without a manager it was that was the okay you that did was it. the you system did. so i get there i go and then i meet the booker of chelsea lately and i do a fox showcase when i come back i go back to la do this fox showcase after the showcase the booker of chelsea comes up and what is like i'm gonna want to have you on and i'm like how the fuck did this happen so fast this thing that i thought was like completely unobtainable it worked totally worked and then when i think about it if i could think about my life and i go my career and i you know i could go like be bitter which you know i've had those moments where i'm like i should have more i should have this if i look back it's like everything i've ever truly asked for i've gotten That's so crazy. if i don't have things it's because i didn't actually want it yeah so now i'm like money 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 so i'm like sorry steve i'll be there in a second money 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 <laughs> i'm gonna be late money money <laughs> but you're already on the, that road yeah I mean, with the pot, new podcast. 100%. Um, what what happened with the bomb though? You said you bombed. Oh, so up I there. get to Montreal. Okay, this is why things don't even matter. So there's all this pressure on you. Your entire career has been like Montreal, Montreal, Montreal. Then you get it. everyone's fucking mad at you. They're spreading rumors about you. They hate you. You know. So then you have that pressure. Then you get to Montreal and you're like, I'm in this other fucking country. They're all speaking French. They're all mean. Yeah. <laughs> They're all mad at me. They're frowning. And then you get. And then they gave us our show, and it was like the worst show ever. How and long everyone was bombed. Your set? Seven minutes, I think. So you had seven minutes material. Yeah. But everyone fucking bombed, bombed except one guy, um, Joe Mackey killed. He did good. Okay. He killed. And it was like He's one of those only things. only guy? Yes. And and God. you almost hate him. It's like you love him. <laughs> yeah. You love him and he's so sweet and you're happy for him, but you're like, you fucking like all of us could have just chalked it up to a bad show. They yeah. didn't get it. They didn't understand our. But, but then since he just. He did good. You have we to, all you're knew to look it was in the us. Yes. And so I'm like, all this is riding on it. I have like this, this uh, lawyer coming down. He's like, I have Fox wants to meet you. And I'm like, I just fucking bomb back. I'm yelling at Fox. Yeah. The <laughs> oh, booker walks by. You got defensive? Dude, I was yelling at everyone, but not like defensive. Cause I was like, I just wanted a minute. I just bombed. Like I was so trying to be my best, you know? And then I didn't pull it off. And I was like, fuck. And then they're all coming up. Like, like I killed. They're like, you did great. And I'm like, I didn't do great. Get out of here. Like, I'm like, ah, yeah, get away. Yeah. And, um, and you know, just age, just everyone. I'm just like, get the fuck away from me. And then the booker comes by and he goes, how was the show? And he goes, fucking terrible. And he was like, you should be grateful. And I was like, you should put on a better fucking show. And I just really like, I actually stand by all these things because I do yeah. think that they did, gave us like a shitty venue. It was like Did bad. Mackie get Chelsea? Mackie didn't get Chelsea. See, that's so ironic. Like, he's the only guy that did well and you got Chelsea. Yes, and but he here's the thing. This a, a lawyer came up to me during the the There's lawyers up there? There's lawyers everywhere, <laughs> dude. This guy's a fucking lawyer. You don't know there's secret lawyers <laughs> okay. everywhere. Okay, okay, They're okay. All around all us. All right, all right. But so he so a, this lawyer comes up to me and he goes, like, how's your Montreal? And I was like, it's you know, I bombed, it sucks. And he, I just didn't know you're supposed to lie. I, I had never been to Hollywood yet, so I didn't mm. know that like you're supposed to lie mm -hmm. and just pretend everything's great. I'm just like fully myself, totally like triggered, activated, miserable. And this guy's like, well, don't worry. Uh, you got a good look. You'll be fine. And I was so devastated by That's that. That's what he said? Yes. I was He's, like, what? wait, hold up. Say, he said, don't he worry. He said, don't, don't worry. You've got a good look. You'll be fine. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me, motherfucker? Like, I'm trying that to be good. Help. Oh, I was pissed. But... I had a good look. I got on Chelsea. <laughs> but I look cute. They All right, put me so on TV. now I'm dying to know what was your first episode on Chelsea? Were you nervous? Like how how did that work? Like I drove. I I I came to L.A. I stayed with a friend. I rented a car. I was turning onto the lot. I didn't. I'd never been on a lot before. I was like That's turning your first on a lot. lot. Yes. Was it at Paramount? Like where was it at? It was uh, off Lancashire. Um, it was the WB lot one. What was it? probably wb was it uh maybe it's no right that's the one i think i don't know lots i don't know i don't even know what I'm i can't remember about. i'll remember okay after the show when it doesn't matter yeah but i will remember but it was lot one or stage three i was it was uh, and i remember oh, i was i'm thinking i was wrong. going to make i was going to turn in and i like 
missed the thing. So then I go and make a U-turn and I'm turning around and I just, I just swerve into an 18 wheeler <laughs> and I just crash into this truck. Like I, not hurt. I mean, I should be killed, but I, it just was a dent. And so then I pull into the lot and this like fucking big ass truck has to come in and like I'm oh, sorry, man, and because he, he comes up mad to me, right? He's yeah. like, he comes, it's like, you fucking kid. And I go, I know, I'm nervous. I'm supposed <laughs> yeah. to be on TV right now. And he was like, Oh my god, you're going on TV. And I was like, I'm going on TV for the first time. He's like, All right, well, you're fine. You go in. I can't remember even how it got figured out. Yeah, but it was yeah. totally. I didn't have. I don't know. I have insurance or anything. So then, um, was she I nice? Get, Is she nice? I mean, she was nice, and that she was very different every time I met her. Which oh, okay. Is, the scariest thing yeah, it sounds like ellen degeneres or something it really it's was just like yeah, yeah where it was like and okay. I'm what so do you mean great. like like a different person like a different well, personality I did show like, over a year and a half i did it like every three weeks for like a year oh, and a half geez. and sometimes i would go in and she'd be like hey girl and i'd be like mama like i like yeah, couldn't believe yeah. this person i mean i manifested this person in my life and then other times she would be like Ugh. and i'm like uh and maybe i was taking it personally maybe well, she was in a bad sure mood you you saw that correctly she really went Ugh. I think so, but <laughs> I, I maybe I was being annoying. I don't know. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. But I was so eager and like desperate. Like I, I, I remember being like, I can't believe I got this. I can't lose it. And then I would be so Bobby would panic too. Like it's a it's a panicky situation yeah. because you have to like jump in and get your jokes in. And oh god, there's a studio so, audience and there's only a certain amount of time. You have to memorize your jokes, but you also want to look at them and oh you got to look at Chelsea, god. but you don't want to like look too deep. Yeah, and distract her. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? yeah. And it was just like. You know, you want to piss her off. It's her show. It's her She's like thing. doing you this huge solid. It's like amazing. I was just this like open micer that did Montreal that bombed, and she like gave me this huge opportunity. Yeah. And so you you know, but you don't want to kiss her ass too much because she won't respect it. I mean, the whole right. thing is just like so. You're yeah. going through mind trips. Oh, I'm my brain is going crazy. And then they only give you like an hour and a half before the show to write all these jokes. So I'm like Jesus fucking Christ. So I always they always know I was getting there an hour early. I would get oh, there an hour Lord. early because also when you're a girl, they're doing your hair. They're like gluing eyelashes on. You're like. They're like, you have, it's four minutes before you go on. Here's a new five topics to write jokes about. I'm like, I can't see. Like, my <laughs> yeah. eyes are glued shut. The makeup artist is like, closer, don't talk. I'm doing your lips. I'm like, fuck. Oh so I would God. come an hour early and just like sit there. And oh do the my God. But so. Um, you got through that? Yes. And then, <laughs> and then I didn't get asked back, which was like my worst nightmare was to not be asked back. Oh, so. And then eventually, like my, my manager, I eventually got a manager and he goes, Annie, they're, she doesn't want you back anymore. Like, <laughs> oh no! I was oh. like, my. Li I'm, by the way, I'm living out of my car, like living in my friend's house. You're living. In my car you're sometimes. homeless. Yes, I'm homeless. You're legit homeless. I'm the Hollywood story, baby. Well, I lived in my car twice. I do have a joke about it where I'm like, it's really when you move back in your car, you're like, ooh. <laughs> so when did you get to move to your own apartment? Um, I moved into my own place. Um, I got a boyfriend. I moved into his place. <laughs> I got my own place, got a boyfriend, never moved into the, my place. Just was had, he a like, comedian? An empty no, he worked at a comedy club as a sound guy, but he told people he was a comedian all the time. It would uh, drive me crazy. Okay. He'd done one open mic. He never he never did comedy again, but he would tell, like, someone would be like, what do you guys do for a living? You're like, we're comedians. And I'm like, oh, actually, I'm a sound guy. Oh, I would be Lord. like, no, actually, I work at the Empire. How long were y'all together? Three years. How long should it have been? Two months. <laughs> but, you know, he took me in when I was homeless. He, you know, he took care of me. Are you guys still talking? Like no, no, he ran. He <laughs> he quit the biz. He got oh. he got far away from me after that. Okay, so how did your life change after Chelsea? After Chelsea, well, I think a very important moment was not getting asked back, having my worst nightmare happen, and then everything being fine, mm -hmm. like not dying. And then I ended up Chelsea ended up ending her show, and then they gave me a show on E. You had a four, show on yeah e? for four episodes. It Get was the fuck. It out was of only here. a four episode order. Well, what which was it called? Let's talk. It was called We Have Issues. It was with a co I was hosting it with Julian McCullough, this comic who used to do Chelsea too, and we had four episodes. It was the most stressful experience of my life to have my own was show. Was it reality TV? No, it was like a talk show. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was like they Can were trying people to still find that and watch it. <laughs> I have no clue. Okay. Maybe there's some clips on So YouTube. you got work after then. Chelsea, oh, I never stopped working and I never even realized. I was always like, I don't have, th you know what I mean? Yeah, you just kept getting job, job, yeah, job. Yeah, I was like, oh, I keep getting these stupid jobs. Now, how did you get theatrical? Did you do commercials as well? Yeah, I actually have been randomly just getting a lot of commercial auditions out of nowhere today. Really? Money, 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 money. Are you with money, Aqua? Money, money. Are you with Aqua? I'm with CESD. Okay. Who I was with in New York. That now in New York I was in Caroline's opening. Oh, and this is what reminds me of your story of getting fired from your 
temp tempy job i was opening it was before i did montreal i was like a year and a half in i get a call from caroline's i had done this caroline's had march madness which was like a it's a basketball yeah yeah it's a yeah, it's college did, tournament yeah but yeah. they did it for comedy yeah. and so you would wait in line almost like in the beginning, like the interstitials of uh, Last Comic Standing, you would like wait in line. Mm -hmm. Like an open mic or yeah, like a potluck or something. Wait in line forever to get into Caroline's to do one minute of stand-up. Caroline's is in New York. Yes. Yeah. It's in, on, in um, it's, uh, um, what do you call it? I don't the know why place. I know this. I don't Times Square. Know. Okay, gotcha. And so I go to Caroline's, I do my one minute, and I get like passed to come and to be in the thing. And then I got pretty far in the, in the competition. Yeah. And then they really liked me, so... Then they offered me up. I get a call and they're like, they're from the people at Karen's, they're like, Jim Norton wants you to open for him. Cause Jim, and I was such the a The legendary fan. Jim Norton yes. from New York. Yeah, the man himself. The man himself. Love him to death. So I was like such a big fan of his. My dad was a fan of his. Like I loved Opie and Anthony. Yeah. And so I, when I got that news, I was in a coffee shop and I was like leaving to go call my dad and I like stepped out and I got a little cocky. I had a little bit of gas and I got a little cocky. <laughs> And I shit my pants. Like, I thought it was just, a, I sharded. Like, I was like, but I was like, oh. I was so excited. Shit my pants immediately. Like, got the call, hung up. Was it a fart up. or a poo? I It was both. Oh. It was a deceptive <laughs> yeah, okay, one. Okay. So I shit my pants. So then I called my dad and um, to tell him the news. It ended up being telling him about the shit first. But um, he ended up, he hung up on, I, I was like, dad, I just shit my pants. And he hung up on me. He was like, I'm sick of you and your mother and your shit. And hung up on me. And I have no clue what he's talking about. So I call back. I'm like, why did you hang up on me? And what does this have to do with mom? And he goes, you're fucking with me. I'm like, no, I'm not. I literally have shit in my pants. And he goes, he goes, no, your mother just shit her pants too. My mom has shit her pants at the exact same time. Isn't that crazy? This is why I'm like, of course I'm a comedian. Oh Everything is. God. So then, okay. So oh, then man. after that, as I'm on my walk, my walk of shame home, my walk of shart home. Did you, did you squeeze your butt cheeks to oh, contain the poo? Oh, I was squishing and squashing the way home. It was just like, yeah. you know when it's just too late? And it's it yeah. wasn't like a turd. It was just a shart. So it was just it a little squishy. It was wet. It was juicy. Yeah. So I'm walking home, squishing around, and I'm telling my dad, I'm like, I'm opening for Jim Norton. He's like, oh, my God. Oh, he was proud yes. of Yes, yes. He was so proud. And then my dad heard, he called me, and he was listening to Mark Maron's podcast like a year or so later, and Jim Norton was on, and they were talking about him. He's like, they just talked about you. Oh, I was like, yes. Oh, wow. But um, so then I... What was that like? Was that a good experience? Opening for Jim? Yeah. No. <laughs> I go to Caroline's. I'm completely in over my head. I'm so fucking nervous. I'm scared of the audience. You bombed? Oh my god! I <laughs> ate shit so. I was scared. I was like, I was shaking. You know, like I, I just was I'm like, sorry, I'm laughing. It's at a you. sold it's out funny. room of like, and I was kind of scared. I was like, they're Opie and Anthony fans. They're fucking rapists. Yeah. You know, they're gonna rape me. And so I go out and I bomb. And then, <laughs> oh and god. then, and then Jim comes back after my set and he goes, in the great set. Room? He goes, he goes, great set. He goes, um. They're going to have you switch to host because you were like so good. And I was like, oh, <laughs> Jimmy, fucking asshole. So I was so, 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 down, yeah, like, down so nice. It's like, yeah, I was like, oh, just getting like, you know, but I was like, OK, fine. So but then what I learned from that was do not be afraid of the audience. And I was like, why am I afraid of these rapists? So then I went out. <laughs> I went out as the host. And I remember saying I saw this group of people and I was like, just don't be afraid of them. Just crowd work. You do yeah. And I work. go. It was like this group of guys. And I was I said something like it was around the time when the lacrosse team had like gotten accused of rape which yeah. turned out to not even they didn't even rape anyone but i go where did you guys meet like in lacrosse in college or and it just like kill you know what i mean like, oh I so like, you just did that yeah i was like have that. you guys ever fucked a woman when she was awake like i just went in on it like i yeah. took the fear and then i realized they loved being shit on and then jim started taking me on the road with him and oh i started going on the road with him all the time God. and i That's just amazing new to like shit on them and then i had to unlearn that behavior because i'm <laughs> Why like they're that? not all oh they're all not all like that yeah they're oh not, that's a specific crowd but also i mean all crowds a little bit like being shit on but it right. was a negative i was coming out feeling very aggressive towards the audience that is really these people were all in a thing together right like yeah i'm here where like i need you to laugh at my jokes you need me to make you laugh like it's kind of a symbiotic oh, that's amazing but i learned that way later so you've bombed several times oh, and that's a, a bomb machine oh, oh. Bomb machine. I'll so would you I'll bomb, I'll bomb this week if i want so so would you say that comes with the territory as far as stand-up comedy you're gonna whether it's like a well, landmine I, right you, it's yeah. gonna happen yeah uh, if you're but i also feel like i like to really take risks so the risk of taking risks is that mm. 
That's amazing. You got to yeah. grow. But I don't, I don't, I haven't had like a, a bomb where I have to like get off the stage by going like, take care <laughs> in a while. Like that's been about five, six years. Is that the I'm, worst kind of bomb? Oh, when they're just all looking at you, you just have to go, well, take care. Like when you're like, there's, I got nothing left. Yeah. <laughs> I gave you everything I have and you hated every second of it. And I'm just going to go. Okay, so what's happening like right now? So you have bloodbath. Like what else? Bloodbath. I have what about own? a special? I'm I'm gonna get a special soon. I'm gonna do a special because before I never wanted to do a special, but in my head I was going, I'm not getting a special, and I'm not. It's not fair. But yeah. really deep down, I didn't want a special because I didn't believe I deserved a special. Oh wow! Really? But now I'm like, Let's it's give me time. That special. It's time. Yeah. So it's how time. are you guys as far as the? Uh, com- comedy community. How are you doing shows right now? Well, there are you are doing a lot Zoom of, like, shit? Outdoor- or? I never did the Zoom. Okay, stuff, okay, 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 know. okay. Yeah, yeah. It's to weird. me, waste of time. Okay. Unless that, I never got offered the right amount of money. Let's just say that. I heard everyone's moving to Texas. You're not doing that. No. But aren't comedians moving to Texas? Comedians are moving to Texas. Rogan said on his podcast to Doug Stanhope that I'm moving to Texas. I was like, what? When did I say that? So how many people, percentage wise, from the store are in Texas? Now, like paid regulars, yeah. I know that Rogan's out there. Tim Dillon moved out there. I don't know if he'll stay. Tim Dillon's a, he's a mover and a shaker. I can't mm-hmm. imagine him sticking, sticking there. But Duncan, uh, Duncan moved to New Hampshire. Okay, or something. Tom, Maybe it's not New Hampshire. Tom Segura. Tom Segura has a house there. I don't know if he's moved there yet. Um, Joey Diaz. Uh, Joey Diaz is moving there from New Jersey. He's going to move to Texas. Yes. And then Theo is in Nashville, but I think maybe he's, mo- I don't know. I, maybe he's moving there. Yeah. It's going to be fun though. But you're not moving. No, but I'll, it's a two hour flight. I'll be there. Yeah. Joke. Yeah. He could, he I'm could. like, Joe, I'll come visit you. Yeah. Yeah. Have you done the Rogan experience? Mm-hmm. What was that like? Um, well, the first is time it, I did like two a bunker. Times. Like what's that like? Well, it's, it was in like an industrial space when he was in LA. It was like, <laughs> um, I think like Woodland Hills area, but it mm-hmm. was like this industrial area where it's just like unmarked weird like also it's funny i almost popped my tire on the way into that too every time i'm going to a big event there's a car situation yeah but I, it didn't break but i did embarrass me in front of a security guard i was like oh how how did your life change after doing joe rogan i mean i think that was really that was a big that was a, a big jump one. on yeah, instagram that was a big one yeah the instagram was good but we did a. I thought about this ahead of time because I was like, do I, re- I don't want one of me sitting in front of a mic, right? I want there to be like a funny, I want to do a funny picture for Joe because nobody really like takes advantage of that mm-hmm. moment. So um, I always pixelate my feet because. Um, Through like Photoshop or just like some kind I of. I just have yeah. an app. It's yeah, yeah, pretty an app. easy. Yeah, yeah. But I always pixelate my feet as just like a bit that will go on for the rest of my life. Like I will, mm-hmm. till I die, pixelate my feet. And so. On Rogan, I did in front of. Remember when everyone would go in front of the flag and they yeah, would be holding a sword. Yeah, yeah, with the brick background. I had, yeah, I had a sword and then I put my foot up, bare foot up, and then yeah. I pixelated it. Oh, that's amazing. So then it got. I think I got me more because it was like a joke. You yeah. Know? Is and he? Then, is he? I've always wondered this. Is he like? Is his personality the same all the time? Like, is no, he always he's trash? Just kidding. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, Rogan is. I'm always like, why are you not a piece of shit? Like, you should be such a. He seems monster. like a good guy. He's the best. He is for he's real. So I swear to God, he's like a fucking angel. It's the most. I mean, maybe to me he is. I don't yeah. know what it's like to not be one of his boys. God, but imagine that money he's making. Oh, it's a, he used to give me he used hundreds to, of millions. He used to of just dollars. hand me hundreds of dollars because I, I whoa, asked whoa, him whoa. once. He would just hand you hundreds. I, I asked him once. We were in the parking lot at the comedy store, and I was like, "I'm." This was my second time living in my car. I go, "I'm living in my car, Joe, and you. That is one of your fifteen cars. Like how we do the same job. Like how. Yeah. I was like, "Teach me, master." That's that Spotify. I was like, now. "Papa," but that was before. You know, obviously but he was that making a good things. money. Yeah, he's yeah. Always been. Oh, fear factor. Yes, he's always just had. And I go, "What? Like, teach me to make money, Papa." And he's like, are you starting a podcast? I was like, I am. And he was like, well, why don't you come on my podcast to promote, promote your it. podcast? And this was when he, I was doing He offered that? Yes. Oh, what a good dude. Bobby did too. What a good dude. Yep, good good dude, guys. Good dudes. But good so dude. Bobby actually really helped my confidence a lot when I needed it. Because mm-hmm. I was like telling him I was broke. And he was like, how are you broke? He's like, Annie, don't worry. He goes, there's no one like you. There's no one else like you. So you're going to be fine. I was like. Oh, okay. And I kind of like... It's a little pep talk, huh? And it was something I needed to hear because I really don't think... Someone was asking me like who my peers were and I don't think... I don't feel like I have peers. Yeah. But, but go not back. like peers. I mean, I have peers, but I don't feel like I'm like... Not that co- thinking you're in competition with people is like healthy anyway, but I don't have people that I'm like... I oh, so there's no competition or, or anything. I feel like very unique. Like I feel like I'm... You're part of the community. Right. Yeah. But I'm also just like my own... 
comics. I don't feel like, yeah, I'm not like in competition. Yeah, yeah, with other comics. No, so Joe just handed you a couple so hundred. So I th- said, yeah, I was like, and he goes, he started laughing at me, and he just pulls out this like wad of money, and he goes, um, he goes, here, this means nothing to me, and just started laughing at me. And then we did this bit for a while, which was my favorite bit because he was much paying was my rent. Like Five hundred dollars. He would give me three hundred. He would give me a hundred. He would like come high five me and just give me, and it was like amazing. So he would just have hundreds in his wallet. Yes. Don't rob him though, because that's my fault. <laughs> <laughs> that's totally okay, my no, fault. No, no, I don't think anyone's gonna rob him. That's crazy. Yeah, but he just and he would just laugh. And it was so funny because if you look at a guy like Joe, right? He's like he's just, the OG. I mean, all and this he's like, podcast just shit. Make money. He go, like that. Like people that are my, there's like make money. Is like, that a mindset too? Just yes, just make money. Like what don't? Cause what if don't I think you about get? It, Is well, that think about the, it. It's like. I could have like I do have merch, which I will be showing you. But oh, I don't. We're gonna, let's plug I have that. One piece let's of let's merch. plug that. We're gonna plug that. Okay, I have one piece of merch. Yeah, but, can we? Can we can why we, do I only have one piece of merch? Can we display that, please? It's like I gotta just. There's things I could always be doing that I'm okay. not doing. Oh, look at that beautiful mask. Now, where can one buy one of those masks? On AnnieLetterman.com. Click the mask on the picture. Yeah. This took me years. It does take a month to come to your house, though. Don't it, Can people link th- is, through your Instagram? Is yeah, you link? can find it. You can go on Instagram on my link tree. I'll, I'll put too. the description on the YouTube as well. And um, But they're fun. How they're, much for a mask? It's 25 for one, but I did hand draw them, and they're handmade. Oh, can I take a look at it? You, so these are customized. Yeah. How long have you been doing art? Uh, since forever. Oh, this is cool. I don't draw that much, though. That's amazing. So get your mask today. Yeah. I did have a drawing that went viral, though. You did? I made this drawing of, some people know who it is, or what it is, but nobody knows I drew it because it got yoinked. Ama- amazing. But so I, uh, okay, I drew a picture of me looking into the mirror, and then in the reflection, it was Danny DeVito. <laughs> <laughs> and it fucking blew up. The Huffington Post took it and did like an article about it. Yeah. And they didn't watermark it and it blew up. It went everywhere. And so every like three years, I drew it in like 2013. Every fucking, I remember I was hanging with Benji Aflalo. Yeah, okay? yeah, yeah. Benji and I were supposed to be writing jokes. Yeah. I'm drawing a picture and he goes, he goes, that's never going to do anything for you. Like it's more important to write jokes. And I was like, no, I'm having like, because you draw. Yeah. So I you do know, from time to time. But yeah. you know, how, like, that's how I am too. But you know how you get like a, it's like something's going through you when you're drawing. Yeah. I, when you make a good one. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Like I just was like had an idea. I have to look at like a, like I need a reference point yeah. and I just kind of. Yeah, of course. Uh, yeah, that's, yeah. If and I, I just do it with just like regular a, black pen. I don't. Yeah, I use a, um, just a, a pen, a uh, mechanical like Maybe pencil. something like this. Yeah, I don't yeah, go too yeah, crazy. Yeah. But I, I, I was, and then I, so this thing went viral and it goes viral all the time, but I'm going to make that into merch actually. You should. Um, I have a Danny DeVito story. Tell me. So my brother uh, was hosting uh, an award show. Who is kind of Asian Danny DeVito, if you're re- if we're being real. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so Quentin Tarantino was there. Mm. Uh, I made a full meeting with Ralph Macchio. I was in the green, wow. uh, the green room. Did you try to fight him? No, I was sitting in his seat. Ooh. And I go, this is my seat, bro. And I, was, I gave him a little attitude. Yeah. And my brother's like, dude. He's not getting the joke. Yeah, that was the last time he invited <laughs> me, yeah. And uh, I'm a huge Ralph Macchio sure. fan. Uh, even before Cobra Kai. Yeah. I love Karate Kid. Right. I love the outsiders. The, the OG, yeah. And so I even I made, a fool, I made a fool out of myself meeting him, too. I did a whole That's karate stance. And I go, dude, Karate Kid, bro. You're like, I'm Asian. I can do it. <laughs> yeah. You make that kind of culture appropriated from your people, be real. <laughs> A little he bit, yeah, Cobra Kai, yeah, he but anyway, your, but I, so apology. I apologize to Ralph and Danny DeVito, um, I was, but I was drunk as, I was shit I know, that's I was the worst. Sh- I was just picking up champagne bottles, I was just drinking Have stuff. you released your guilt of the, for that? I've, I've, you know, I've talked about it more than once, you know, yeah. I bring it up and like, I, I'm sober now, yeah. I, I know. would never I do like, that. Yeah, exactly. I would be the opposite, I'd be outside and just waiting. I just think drinking was such a good excuse because, like, I always feel like when people are like, but drinking's not an excuse. I'm like, if you drink enough, it is. Yeah. And you're, I like, just, blacked out. I'm like, okay. I was just never good with it. Yeah, yeah. me neither. Um, yeah, time flew here. I mean, you're almost off the hook. I mean, how do you feel thus far? I mean, can we... How about right now? Let's keep going. How about right now? I want to plug a lot of your shit. Okay. Um, How does one find bloodbath podcast bloodbath you can go on anywhere where you listen to them you can find it but uh youtube it's more of a show it's more of a youtube show i would say mm-hmm. do you film they're, in there the, by the pool area? sometimes yeah we do on and off we mm-hmm, rotate sometimes mm-hmm. we go outside the mm-hmm. next episode will be outside 
We're doing a club themed, like a 90s yeah. club theme. I have to bring up Esther again because I've asked sure. her in the past to do the podcast and she's always like said no. And like, she's, how do we get Esther Pavitsky here? We'll make a mission. Let's manifest it. So can we give Esther a message? <laughs> Esther, you <laughs> stupid snobby bitch. You don't want to come to his house? Uh, just say, how about this? Or, just when kidding, she's, just how kidding. about this? If she sees you. And I tag you. Am I being used to get Esther? No. Wow. No, no. You know what? <laughs> Esther doesn't have to get it. Come on. No, we want Esther. No, no. We Since you Esther. worded it like that, I know she's busy. But is she really that busy? I. That's the question I ask every time she rejects the thing I suggest. Is she really? I mean, because because that's understandable. If she's like, do you know oh, what Esther Netflix is? Do you know what Esther is? She's a busy person, whether there's something to do or not. She has the. She has a busy person's. She's up. She plans things out. She's got hard outs. She's got everything's got to start exactly on time. You know what? It's like that's self, a busy it's self-centered mental. fear on my part because I look at it like, oh, my podcast isn't cool enough. Or, no, don't take or it. Or is it? Is it because it's like is is my shit broy? Dude, I tried to get her to do a fucking podcast you know with saying? me for since 2012. Don't. I, oh, you and she's she's done that to you. You got to make things easy for Esther. What's the easy? Do I have to contact her mom? That's actually such a funny good idea. <laughs> it is. Let's see if you can get her mom to get I her can to do email it. her mom. But I don't know if I feel like Esther makes her mom do things. Okay. More than her mom makes her do things, but that's so funny if you start contacting her. We should start sending oh, her we letters. We do vlogs. We should every Ooh. week we we leave a voicemail on Esther's. Yes. Should mom's. we call her? She won't pick up. She'll be too busy. Yeah. Do yeah. Please do it. Listen, I'll FaceTime her with Kalila, and then she'll pick up. Okay. This is great. Hey, is it still rolling? Okay, this is good stuff. This is good stuff. Thank He's you. like, it was never rolling the whole time. We got to redo <laughs> it. I could still redo it. I got other okay. stories. This is great. This is great. Because I'll think it's about work. Fuck, yeah. Oh, they, it's not working. Oh, God, because they know you're over here. No, they don't. Oh, God. That, you know what? Thanks for the attempt, though. I really appreciate that. This is... It's okay. Maybe she is lines. trying, but let's okay. So we're let's we'll get her on the podcast. We'll, we'll get we'll get her in I'm the future. I'm putting it in the goals. Maybe Brian five, Tracy even goals. five years from now. Write it down. I have Esther. Five years from team. now, I'll still accept. She'll it. be on. Now. Yeah. Um, can Esther's we? Esther's gonna be way too famous for all of us in five years. Don't you think? Yeah. She's in, she's got a trajectory. She's, she's on her way, isn't she? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, can we plug your Instagram? Yes, it's Annie Letterman. A N N I E L E D E R M A N. I think I do great work on there. <laughs> I try to really have layers to my jokes. Yeah. You want to check every post. You want to check for like a tag or a location. Mm -hmm. There's usually some, a few jokes. In each. And then we've got the mask. You can have that if you'd like. I can? Yes. Dude, thank you. That's yours. Where can one purchase You can get it on merch. AnnieLetterman.com. You can get it on my link tree in the bio on my Instagram. You can follow me on Twitter, but not much has happened in there. And then uh, your website? You can go to my Patreon. Oh, let's plug if your you Patreon want. again. Patreon's fun. $20 holler if you want to yeah. hang out with me on Zoom. So Patreon, Instagram, Twitter? Yeah, nah, but okay. I, Twitter's the cancel land. All right, gotcha, gotcha. Do you know what I mean? So we got your Instagram. Yeah. I just want to make sure we got all the right shit. I got new merch coming out soon. When so is that dropping? I don't have a drop date yet, but I'm coming back from, I'm going to see my parents for the first time in... Years. It's been a year and a half. Years. And I'm a... Mommy, daddy, girl. Yeah, so. yeah. I'm way more into my parents than they are into me. Dude, get your mask today. Get your mask. I'm going to make my dad wear one. Was this oh a, do you think we're doing good commercials for I this? I think we're doing great commercials. Who else has it? done this? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm putting an effort for yes, like you this. you are. You are. Like, well, Rogan retweeted it, but that was. Oh, okay, well, I can't. I can't. Nobody compete. can compete with that. I can't compete with that. Nobody can compete <laughs> with that. Well, I'm doing my best. Who can, you're I'm doing, doing your best. best. Yes, you're doing so your best. So get your mask today. Get your mask today. I have more merch coming out. I do a theme of boardwalk humor, things, they're, they're uh, silly merch. Mm -hmm. I think, can I recommend mm -hmm. something? Sure. I think you should implement more of your artwork. Yes. Uh, uh, well, your, everything you know, will be hand-drawn. It's more personalized. Yes. Do you know what I'm yep. saying? Yeah. Everything's hand-drawn. It's more yeah. endearing. People are like, oh, she drew that? Yeah. I was also thinking about doing on my Patreon, like a Zoom where, where people can like watch me draw it too. Dude, you should totally do that. Do you have your own YouTube? I do have my own YouTube. Let's plug YouTube, that. YouTube Annie, slash Annie Letterman. I have my podcast, Me Inspiration, that has been on hiatus, but is coming back when, when I get back. When are you going to start doing that again? I'm going to start doing it. I'm going home, and I'm going to record a bunch of uh, podcasts with my family. 
subscribe to her YouTube channel subscribe today. Subscribe to my YouTube channel today. How often do you post? Well, when I'm back on track, which I will be back on track in two weeks when I come back, it's once a week. Okay. Yeah. Did time fly? I mean, this time was easy. Time flew. This was great. It could be the nicotine, but. Dude, I appreciate you showing up. I really do. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, Little Ray might be coming back soon. Uh, oh, I have to do my announcements. Do you do mind? It'll, it'll, of course. it'll be really quick. It'll be, so go to stevieweebyshow.com today to get merch there. If you want a, a, a Little Ray a hoodie or whatnot, patreon.com slash stevieweeby, Instagram slash uh, Instagram.com slash Q-U-A-N-G-O-U. I do have all my music at StevieWeebyBandCamp.com. Uh, check out uh, my newest music video, O oh Rodeo Man. Uh, check out my newest album, I Feel Stir Crazy, on my Bandcamp. But most importantly, I started a new podcast with my bro, Jeremiah Watkins, called The Scissor Bros Podcast. We're doing good. We're, we, we're filming every week. Subscribe to that today. That's a good name. L and so was that, that was a troll when you did Good Friends. Oh, do you want to open that jar? No, we don't have to open it. <laughs> well, a it bunch was, of snakes no, pop out? <laughs> no. We, I know Santino got upset, but we strategically <laughs> did it because uh, we had a, an excuse because of April Fool's. Yes. We took their images. It was great. You saw it? I didn't watch the thing, but, but I you saw, saw the, the clip. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, we, we did that. And, and and then we actually hit Santino up saying, dude, this is a one-off. Yeah. We ch we're changing the name. We're changing all of the art. Don't worry about it. He, he got upset. So sorry, <laughs> Andrew. So we, we changed the name. <laughs> But that this is even good promo because people love drama. Yes. Okay. Yes, they do. Scissor Bros podcast yes. today. Every Friday we drop a new episode. Okay. We do have a PO box. Send all your packages and fan mail or whatever to fourteen twenty five North Cherokee Avenue, PO Box thirteen ninety one. LA California nine zero zero nine three. That is actually his address. No, that's the PO box. Just but kidding. you can you can But if you're a meth addict, go there you go. Hey, pound. Very fun. Thank you for having me. My buddy Skip is a trip, feeling blue like a crib. Straight for robbing a bank, letting loose from the hip. He really couldn't predict this grip was so full of amps. Tim and Henry were with Peckers, did a song and dance at bit. Oh, Rodeo Man in the West, you can. You're the best on the land. Two plus the sands, do the bull with your hand. Oh, Skip, you can. Get that fucking bull, pull on that. Is there 